ところはいハッピーバーデーとテンス・ブー・クローフォード and it's a happy birthday for Omaha, Nebraska because to have someone like him representing their city to have someone like him who is their、uh, professional sports Terrence Crawford is the professional sports of Omaha, Nebraska, or just Nebraska in general. So when he wins, Nebraska wins. So today is a win win for Nebraska. So y'all stand up. Because y'all got arguably, y'all have arguably the best fighter of this era. The best fighter in the world. The number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And he's black. I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, man, but respect, man. There's a lot of doubters, a lot of naysayers, a lot of people that was really, really trying to throw real shade on Bud Crawford. Making up lies, propaganda. I mean, I have never seen so much personal hate for this man when he did nothing wrong, did nothing to any of the people who were talking down on him. And all they did was add fuel. I think those people thought they were going to be adding fear and doubt. But they didn't realize they were messing with a Libra. <laughs> See, when you go into the house of Libra, you better have your A game. You better have your mind right, your spirit right, and your body right. And before you can go through the house of Of Libra, justice. You say justice, you better think about Libra. Because we are not going to allow nothing in unjust to happen around us. You can be a stranger. And if someone assaults you, tries to bully you, and a Libra is present, that Libra will shut that down nine times out of ten. Unless they just not cut from that kind of cloth. But most Libras, like myself, would not allow any wrongdoing around them. This is why a lot of times when a Libra shows up, people's energy c h a n g e Because by default, you have to respect the energy of a Libra. Because Libras are not disrespectful, but Libras carry that no nonsense mentality. So sometimes people can mistake a Libra's energy and their personality for being always mad, always serious. But what people don't realize is a Libra can sense and feel everybody's energy in the room. And he knows when, there, when there's some foul energy around, or he knows when there's some funny style energy around. Or she as well. He or she. Any Libra, we're very, very sensitive to feelings. We can feel everything. We can sense everything. So you got to be careful. Don't be fake. Don't be phony. And don't be disrespectful around a Libra. Or you're not going to see the positive side of the Libra. You're going to see maybe the negative. You know? Libras want balance. But in a Libra's. Worlds, there's a lot of people who always want to tip the scales of a Libra. Sometimes people think Libras are just, y'all, I'm balanced, y'all, but y'all ain't never balanced. No, you don't balance me. And sometimes it's a battle to, and sometimes it requires a Libra to cut certain people off in order to get their own personal balance because on their own journey, they're just fine. People love Libras. There's a lot of Libras out here in the world, even your, your celebrities out there and entertainers that y'all don't even realize are Libras. Snoop Dogg is a Libra. Eminem, he's a Libra. Lil Wayne, he's a Libra. T.I., he's a Libra. Jeezy, he's a Libra. Talib Kweli, he's a Libra. Even your boy Lil Durk is a Libra. Cardi B's a Libra. She, her birthday is the same birthday as mine. I ain't the biggest fan of Cardi B, but we share the same birthday, October 11th.
But today is a celebration for Terrence Bud Crawford. Because this man has conquered the world, literally. This man has conquered the world and he didn't do it by selling himself short. He didn't do it by selling out. He didn't do it by creating controversy. He actually did it by letting his fighting do the talking, by letting his game do the talking, letting his abilities do the talking. So while a lot of people were out here trying to crucify him to the public, all you, all you did was resurrect him. So you try to kill him in the media, and he, and he resurrected himself to where now the media has no other choice but to keep talking about this man. Because they didn't realize who they were dealing with. And the fact that he's a Libra, I knew he was chosen. Not just because he's a Libra and because I'm a Libra, but I just know the role that a Libra plays on this planet and around people. I'm not saying every single Libra is a good person or a person that's how I'm speaking of them to be. But if a Libra, uh, it would have to really, really be some serious mental issues there or some serious uh, trauma from the past for a Libra to not be balanced and, and bring forth knowledge, inspiration, and love and happiness to people. I'm gonna put some respect on Libras, man. It's Libra season. And watch, it's so many things that unfold and always happens during Libra season. Whether it's September or October. I'm an October Libra. To me, there's no difference, you know, but at the same time, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story about some things that's happened on my birthday and how I know I'm directly connected to some spiritual things going on on this planet. Okay, so when the pandemic, I mean, pandemic came, there was a lot going on, or I should say before the pandemic, I took a trip back home to Cali. From, I was born and raised in LA, lived a lot of my life in LA and in uh, Moreno Valley. But I was back home. I went to uh, this particular day while I was back home. On the soil, I went to Newport Beach. And uh, me and a few people of mine, we decided to go uh, well and dolphin watching. And this is in Newport Beach now. This was on January 26th, 2020. So January 26th, 2020, I was out. I was back home. I was in Cali on a little vacay. And guess what happened? Kobe Bryant died. Kobe Bryant passed away. Now remember that date. And then remember, I'm going to get back to my birthday, October 11th. But what, what had happened was, I, uh, someone told me that uh, they just found out that Kobe just passed away. He died in a helicopter crash. And I thought I was like, not real life. Nigga, please. Kobe ain't what? Kobe? So, once I realized it was real, and then I found out that Gigi was in there too, it was like a heartbreak. Like, damn. So, of course, that caught a lot of people off guard. It caught the world off guard. But, for some reason, like, you could tell his energy. You know, if this really, in fact, happened, they, they passed away. The energy, you could feel the energy in the air. Like the whole sky turned gray on everybody. Like anybody will tell you, anybody that was in Cali at that time or in Newport Beach or in Calabasas, because Newport Beach is the next city right next to Calabasas. So I was basically, Kobe lived in Newport Beach. His house was in Newport Beach, but he died in Calabasas. But you don't think his energy didn't return to Newport Beach and Gigi's? So. You could feel it. I was at the I was at the water. I was at the beach by then. And then, and before I got on uh, the boat to check 
the whales and the dolphins, I was just out at the beach. I'd already just heard, so I was like, just talking to Kobe, like, dang, man, like, just rest up, bro. Like, you know, we here. We got you, bro. We're going to keep that mama mentality. And the strangest thing is, October comes around of 2020. We already, through the pandemic and all this crap going on, it's bubble NBA now, bubble playoffs, and then bubble finals. Who was in the finals? The Lakers and Miami. I was never one to particularly care for LeBron coming to my Lakers, L.A. Kobe is always and will always be the king of L.A. I don't care how many times I call King James, King James. He ain't the king of L.A. But anyway, the energy of Kobe was still present. And guess what day the Lakers won the bubble championship on? October 11th, 2020. And also what happened that day, some also uh, kind of tragic happened as well. Before, I don't know if it was before or after, but Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys on the same day, October 11th, 2020, broke his ankle. When his ankle got broke, it was on my birthday. And that was also the same exact day that the Lakers won the bubble championship. So whether, no, 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 let's not even get to the conspiracy stuff. But I know I'm connected to some problems. Problem. Oh, and this is the the kick. This is the this is when I knew this was some kind of message, either from Kobe or some the universe. Because after the day after the Lakers win on my birthday, the very next day. They arrived back to the LAX in a, a, in an airplane Swift called Swift Air. The name on the plane was called Swift Air. My old nickname is Swift. I got Swift tattooed on my stomach. Swift, S-W-I-F-T. Look it up if you think I'm making this shit up. The Lakers arrived back in LAX as champions in a plane and it said Swift Air. Now, my nickname is Swift, and I'm a Libra. What is What element is Libra? Air. I'm an air sign. So, it was Swift Air. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. The Lakers win. <laughs> I'm, in the same, I'm in the vicinity where Kobe passed away at, and then the Lakers win on my birthday. The very next day, they arrive in a plane, Swift Air. I ain't never seen a plane with the name Swift Air on it. But on my on the day after my birthday, they arrived in Swift Air. All right, I'm done with that. But hey, happy birthday to Terrence Bud Crawford. <laughs> I hope that he has the best celebration and love and light that he could ever have. For not even just an athlete, but just a person. Because he deserves it. He's a really, really good person, man. He really, really cares for people. He shows it because of what he does in the communities. And he has just shown that uh, he is a good, a great example of what type of how a human being should be. You know, I always consider myself a lover and a fighter. I don't believe that you should be one or the other. I'm a, I've always been a lover and a fighter. Terrence Crawford is, is the same way. He's a fighter, but he also loves people. He always, he also still cares for people. So you be that way. I'm not saying be Bud Crawford. I'm Duran. I'm me. Terrence is Terrence. But take from Terrence the example that he shows in the world. He's a real hero. You don't have to necessarily be a hero, but just be a great example and be someone who's inspirational to other people. And so. 